And it's Priscilla Batzell on a very breezy day in Spring Hill, Florida at Express Sister Studio Gallery in the backyard. And uh, pardon my top, I just shook my bottle of paint in my face. <laughs> so be careful your tops around when you go to shake them if you've got pouring medium and like I do. This is a ball chain. This is a restaurant cup. I, if you're like me, you've left a few of these if you're using ball chain with paint on them and you don't know what to do and you think you have to throw them away, you don't. Just put some alcohol in the cup with the lid, leave it there for a couple days and uh, they'll all resuscitate themselves. You, you might have to give them a light wipe down, but they'll resuscitate themselves. Anyway, so I have my glasses and they don't have paint on them, yay! And so what I'm thinking about doing is making up a dish of colors. Whoops, I just made up some Prussian blue, obviously you can see that. And uh, that's looking pretty thick, amazingly so. I'm really wanting some, some of this pink. I just never, never get all the way to giving myself as much pink as I want. There goes the, the diving man. I'm trying to keep my lids out of my way. We have love bug season. There are literally like two million of them on the car. Nasty. Time to go to the car wash. Um, I am going a little crazy with the purples. Let's see what else I've got in here. I've, I used that magenta already. I think I want some, some more. And greens. Do I want greens? I want something. I want to pick up something without a love bug on it. And that's not pretty, not very likely right at the moment. Go away, love bug. Go away. Uh, how about a little bit of this? I think there must be some more colors that I can be inspired by. That'll help. And gold or what? 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 Oh, there it is. My favorite. My uh, my art mind's iridescent. I think it's a purple punch. I am going to go head back in. Take a chance. Am I? No. Evidently not. Okay. I'm just going to give it some. And then clear that dip out after. My timer is set for 17 minutes. 14 of it we have left. And uh, that's because the camera will shut off in 20. So I love you guys and I'm happy that you're here. But uh, a lot of you were missing. <laughs> so share my video if you get a chance. If you want to. If it comes out well. I mean if it doesn't, why bother? Um, but otherwise, YouTube's going through some major changes. And uh, anybody who's channel appeals to children is going to be at risk of losing their income which reminds me parents and grandparents who share my videos with your grandchildren and children contact your local senator and figure out uh, what to tell them I don't know what to tell them they said contact my senator so I thought well I'll share that information and now I don't know what to do with it oh that's the art that is some um, no that's a folk art turquoise color shift those are not my favorite color combinations at the moment, but I think it's going to be okay. I am going to use some white paint on one side, and I have a bunch of this beautiful blue on the other. And I think what I'm going to do is use my OXO omelet turning spatula and see how far. Ooh, that does not go very far, but it goes. Further with the OXO omelet turning spatula, which reminds me, my Amazon link is covered with cool stuff lists, two lists. The first one has paint pouring supplies, and if you want to help me out and you want to help yourself out, the OXO omelet turning spatula is there. Now available on more pour paint pouring people's pages, because they have discovered what I introduced them to, which was the OXO omelet turning spatula. I don't know how long I can keep that wet, and I kind of need to keep it wet a little while. So I'm going to add some more paint, which seems kind of risky considering it's a color, but I figure I'm kind of thinking Blue Sky Day as a background color, and um, I kind of need that to go over the edge, to tell you the truth. So I'm just going to pull it up and wipe the spatula off on the edge, and then slap it along and use a finger, because fingers cover faster than anything. They may not cover perfectly well, but I can always cover that edge tomorrow, especially if I'm not letting paint flow over it, and I, that's not really my intention to do that. But I would like to not waste any of that paint at all. I think I just knocked over my cup with my ball chain in it. That's okay. I am a little cramped on space here, so someday 
when all this YouTube stuff comes down and I am no longer making videos every day because I cannot make a living here, I will go back to doing what I love to do, which is abstract expressionist art. And if you guys are still here on my channel, I am thinking seriously about creating uh, multiple videos and, and larger artworks with a lot more work in them because uh, really, at that point, it doesn't matter if it doesn't take much time because um, it's irrelevant. <laughs> and you can watch as much or as little as you want. It won't matter if you... It won't, it won't matter. We won't know exactly what's going to happen for a while, a few, four months, and then it's going to be interesting. Very interesting. I think it's going to be the end of a whole lot of people on YouTube, but we'll see. I had, it, I had it in my sights. I had making a living in my sights, and it never really got all the way to where it could have gone if I'd been more clever or faster or gotten on the wagon sooner. Anyway, so my idea, such as it is, after I knock the paint off my spatula, unrub it along the edges just like I just did on the other side somewhat. Oh, the love bug's landing on me. See, love bug? Bye-bye. And I think since I'm right here right now, and I can see that canvas up there, and I hope you can too, because you're probably out of part of the frame. Vertical, vertical painting doesn't really work that well. In any case, I'm putting that spatula into the bucket, and I'm going to grab... Ooh, I left paint in it. Okay, well, it's dry paint now. So this is the container from a Sharpie, and um, I'm going to try to see what happens. I just ribbon pouring all over because I can. The name of my book, I have a book. It's on the Amazon link. It's the first hundred videos from YouTube. Yes, I am shamelessly self-promoting because I think that my Christmas might be not very good unless I can let you guys know I got really awesome stuff that you might want. And uh, oh well. All good things must come to an end. And I am hoping that before this gets terribly muddy. This is um this is a takeoff on another painting that I did and I don't know how it's gonna work or even if it's gonna work, but I will make it work. Because we're gonna let all of this run. I'm gonna let some of that go right over the edge in a kind of a random pattern. It may want to blend together. I'm going to throw a top right on top of that container so if I need some of the paint that's still in the bottom of it, I can have it. And in the meantime, let's see if I want to add some gold or some yellow or something neat in here. <laughs> yeah, neat. Neat colored paint. Okay, so I don't use this neon pink nearly often enough. I've got love bugs on me. I have a bunch of this beautiful magenta that I don't... It's so expensive before I even ever do anything with it that I hardly use it, and I should, because it's like very easily one of my favorite colors. Which reminds me, I did not add any of my favorite color, and I can. Everywhere if I want. I wonder what this is going to look like. I plan on using either or or either and a uh, bamboo skewer or a basting brush or both. And I think I want some darks. I haven't done this like this before at all. That's not, this is not how I did the last one. So uh, it's going to be a surprise. And if it sucks, I'll just, um, I'll just swipe it out. And I think I wouldn't mind some of this Just splooge it on, just splash it right into place, and maybe the gold too. It could be the copper. I just made myself up some nice gold. Oh, right in there. Goodbye. Yeah. Just because I can, and because I love gold, and I don't know if it stay if I if I just dot it in place or not. So that's kind of cool. Maybe I should stop now. <laughs> I don't have any green and I want some more of this turquoise. 
And since I'm liking splashing things on like this, we're just channeling Jackson Pollock right about now. And I can go forward and backwards. I think I will find myself an edge catcher, maybe, if I'm lucky, over here somewhere. It's been so windy, I have to uh, put a weight on them and hope that the breeze doesn't take them away. And it often does, so I find them in the backyards. Let's go. Um, let's go down first, and then I'll go sideways. So there's my down. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go over. Ooh, the window must grab my painting. Wow. And I keep rocking my edge, so I cover my edge. And now, now I maybe don't need an edge catcher until I'm thoroughly. Let's see if I can tip that toward you guys. I'm going to go for the diagonal and let things run. Hopefully they don't look terrible. And my intention is still, unless things work out really well right now, to uh, put skewers in there, but I might like it. You can never tell with me. I change my mind, like, frequently. So all that's kind of cool. I really, really, really do like that. That's neat. I'm going to take my edge, my, uh, my edge catcher and remove the paint that's on it. Slowly and carefully, yeah, right, with um, with my spatula, which I will also wipe off on that top edge. Now let's go ahead and think about what I might want to move those with, and that's not it. I don't want to use the fork, but I tried. I might want to tip that down just because, whoops. I might not want to tip it down because of that, though. Now, the last time I did this, I made all kinds of little filaments pulled out, and I really wanted to use the basting brush. I'm afraid once I commit to that, it'll be in for a penny, in for a pound, and all in. I don't want to be so quick that I don't get what I want. I didn't make mud, which is a good start. If I pull slower, I'm less likely to uh, get these big dark lumps that I'm getting. I think I might have to dip my skewer in first. I can definitely come in and do some spirals. I think I'm going to do some waggles instead of what I was thinking about. And inside the picture is fine for the flat end, but I think I'm going to have to do something different. Because the flat end will heal as long as the paint is thick like it is, and I'm loving those spirals. And if we can keep the love bugs out, it'll be even cooler. So I am waggling. But my my background paint is kind of becoming a little congealed, so that could be a problem for me if I'm not quick. So I'm going to try and be quick. And I'm going to try and keep coming back and taking a look. And I might put some dots in there. or steal some paint. Kind of uh, be a little careful with my composition and put things where they actually feel like they might be of benefit to the rest of the composition. I'm kind of lackadaisical sometimes. The colors are so pretty it's easy to, to believe that everything will work out just nicely. And I know no more love bugs in my painting. Thank you. <laughs> really? And you guys are gone, too. See ya. I want some of that beautiful pink right up at the top. I've got a minute, 48 seconds, and then I'll have two minutes after I set my timer again. And 
and I wasn't planning on doing a part two, but it does kind of look like that might be the case. On the other hand, if I torch quickly enough, I might be all right. And if I spiral quicker, that could be of great assistance. And if the wind doesn't take my painting away, we'll all be lucky. Wow! Okay. Minor, minor damage. And hopefully that's wet enough for me to um, come back in here and swipe out. So it wasn't a perfect background anyway, so I guess that's okay. I'm just sort of bouncing around here, thinking that's pretty cool. I'm not minding that at all. I think it's very close for time to me to tell you what I'm going to whatever I'm going to tell you which is um, if you look under the video you should find Pinterest and Instagram links and Twitter links which I don't use much but uh, I still do post there and the paint pouring recipe there is a drawing every month for people who contribute to help keep the studio going and I'm going to need you guys immensely shortly I like the dark all right, I got two minutes left, and I'm going to try and tell you guys a few more things. Like what? Like I do sell my artwork, and I need all the patrons I can get, and I like that dark Prussian blue in there. It adds some depth that I'm excited to, to see. I didn't put any green in, which I probably should put a little more green in. I bet there was a little bit of a... Yeah, no, I definitely like the, the Prussian blue, as opposed to the tickling sensation of love bugs landing on my parts. Ankles and calves and you name it, they land on it. Better than spiders. <laughs> By a long shot, actually. So that's all pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with how that turned out at all. And uh, it looks like I should probably touch up my white, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. It is what it is. And if you have more time and you don't have love bugs landing all over you, then uh, good for you. And make sure your background color stays wet longer, that it has a nice thicker layer than I used. That way. when you have to use the spatula to cover it and get something in it on the off chance that you do that. You can fix it more easily and I may just go ahead and try anyway. So if you come back and see that that's I don't know what else I would do to this. I, I thought about putting some dots someplace. I think there's the right amount of white. I got one minute and you guys are going to be gone. And um, there's Facebook groups for abstract expression. Spe Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors is for fans and collectors. And uh, we have a good time there. I do teach classes at the house slash gallery in Spring Hill, Florida. If you need to contact me, my email address is below the video. And if you can't find it, it's EASPBGallery, the word gallery, at gmail.com. The E is for Expressionist Art Studio, EAS. Sorry, not, not that adept. So I am going to uh, torch, and I'm probably going to fix this white while you're gone. But I don't really mind any of that. I kind of might want to put some more green in it the next time I try one of these. But in the, in the meantime, I'm not minding it at all. I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you supposedly, even though a couple hundred a day watch. And if you guys would give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I don't know if it means anything anymore, but I would still really appreciate it. And I appreciate your, com your compliments and your comments. 
and uh, your contributions 